I do have a personal board of directors and the way that I select these people is I make a list of the areas that I need support in and that are some of my weakest areas. And then I identify the individual in my network who is really strong at those <clears throat> qualities, characteristics, expertise, whatever it is. And I go to that person and ask them questions in that area when I need to. Um, very often as, as a business owner, my gut is 120% correct, but I use my board of directors to, um, to gut check my gut and to ensure that the way that I'm seeing and viewing things and my analysis of the situation is objective and correct and it's not based on you know false information or emotion or something like that. And I have people who I call mentors, board of directors for many different aspects. For instance, I have a difficult conversation mentor. I know a person who is amazing at having super difficult conversations. And she, when she fires people, they hug her. So every time I have a difficult conversation that I need to have, whether it's with a client or a colleague or a partner, I practice what I need to say, I outline it, and then I call my different difficult conversation mentor and I, I go through that um, my, my talking points and she helps me edit them, et cetera, et cetera. And so I think you should use your board of directors to supplement the skill sets that are not your strongest skill sets. And you'll, you'll learn along the way. And you can change who your board is um, over time. Uh, you always want to make sure that you're looking at, okay, who am, I, who am I surrounding myself with? Who are my tribe? Who are my people? And are they the right people for me at this time? And they, are they the right people who, who are going to help get me where I need to go? And constantly do that reevaluation and edit as you go along to make sure that you have the right support for the right place in your career to achieve the right goals.